Okay, so lately someone reached out to me about the 1000 error of their Cloudflare and this person is using GrooveFunnel as his tool in creating a website and he also hosts his domain there in GrooveFunnel. So this video is obviously about GrooveFunnel and I'm going to teach you the exact process and how you can publish your GrooveFunnel and uh, like how you can publish your website in GrooveFunnel. So if you are connecting custom domain in GrooveFunnel, for example, bookwormhead.com or example.com, then we need to configure some of the stuff to into our Cloudflare account. Now they do have two options for you to publish your um, Groove funnel and hey pastor if you are watching this video I know you reached out to me so if you got any issue about that like related to Groove funnel you can just review this video <laughs> about like how you can troubleshoot that issue and what really happens to this um, website is he link a different C name on his Cloudflare. Yeah, so I will show you the two process and how you can do that in case you're interested. So the first process is you are purely letting group funnel to access your Cloudflare. That is the first process or the first way. And then the second way is you are creating a Cloudflare account. So you have full access to your Cloudflare account and then you are pointing the C name and hosting details or I, I would say IPv4 address of group funnels going to Cloudflare. So if you're asking me what would be the best approach, I would say the best approach would be the second approach. <laughs> yeah, the second way. But still, I'm gonna show you its process. So without further ado, let's begin. So I'm gonna teach you how you can fix this 1000 error hosted on your GrooveFunnel account. So GrooveFunnel is really great on getting started with affiliate marketing or even a single website or even a single landing pages and collect a lead. So yeah, if you are interested in that, um, you can sign up for free using my link description below. They have a premium plan, but the free version can be a good start to go. Okay, so currently, um, let me dive into the cancel options in here. I'm going to reload this group funnel for you to see how it works. Okay, so currently it has a, if I go into the, um, let's start first with this part, um, I would say group funnels. So as you can see here, like it is by default, you have this affiliate thing program from Group Funnel once you sign up. And yeah, pretty awesome to get start. Pretty awesome to start um, having a um, extra pocket um, when someone converts into your funnel. So they don't ask any um, penny for you to get started. But if you want to open to their advanced features, then they also have a um, premium version for you okay let me just show with you like this one let me just dive in in here under the blocks not blocks actually let's just click this so if you go into the main part or to the dashboard you can see here like the current sites that she have that you have so if I go to the apps these are so you can see all the current sites that he have. So if I click in the um, overview in here, I'm sorry, this one, and go into the um, groove pages, so that one, you will see all of the sites that you created. You can create a new site. You just need to click this one, new site. But currently, like this video is all about troubleshooting the 1000 error. Because this one, this domain is already hosted in Groove Funnels, but it's not connected correctly. So we will fix that. So I believe this one is this um, site. So we click this site, you click the edit, and then you will be redirected to the page builder. By the way, if you want to create, if you want me to create a detailed tutorial on this, let me know, guys. I'll be happy to dig further how this tool can be super helpful for you to 
come up with a lead magnet strategy without you know costing any money so yeah this is the current website this should be the website that reflected on this domain but she had a error 1000 so pastor if you are watching this um, in case you will encounter this again this is the fixed version just watch this video in case you encounter again the error 1000 in your groove funnel so uh, yeah so this is his website and now the first thing you need to do is before this was set to publish so you need to unpublish this one at first so you click the unpublish make sure that it is unpublished first so we can refresh the data because right now it is still in dns 1000 which means he might did some issue or he might did the configuration wrong so it's already in published so i'm going to click the edit domain or yeah edit domain and then in the edit domain in here you'll see that the hosted or the hosting is in propagation or it's in pending so we need to click the setup and if you want to change this domain like this domain you can click the add domain but right now as I said this video is all about fixing the DNS or the 1000 error so you click the setup and you will see here the like the name server that you need to put in your hosting provider so this domain is hosted in GoDaddy so I'm gonna log into the GoDaddy I already log into the GoDaddy in here and if you are using different domain provider then just look for an options for you to change the DNS manager or the name server so this is his website so I'm gonna click the manage button and then I need this um, name servers to be connected to his domain provider so let's dive in in here and go into the manage dns so like any type of domain provider if you are confused if you're not using godaddy just look for the section called dns management so you can edit the name servers of your domain so this one like currently his name server is pointed to the wrong one so i'm gonna click the change there and Actually, I will note this one as well just for the backup purposes. So let's note that. Put it over there. I'm going to change that later. And then I'm going to put this one. So copy and then copy and then this one copy and another one is copy. And then you click the save. Okay. The name server, by the way, the name server might take a couple of hours for the host to get reflected. But okay, so just just keep that. Like changing name server is risky. They just change this one. So you just need to click the yes consent. Um, this is just a warning to let you know that um, if you change the name server, it might affect your website thing. So just keep that yes and then continue. Then um, like it will take a couple of hours depending it may take 24 hours or even 30 minutes from 24 hours for the propagation it will really depends on the host yeah so i'm gonna refresh this so once you're already done that one you click the back and then you click the setup and yeah changes of the domain will take 24 hours so let's just go back in here and then i will click back to cancel and then we will click the publish and then we already done this part so I will it's in a propagation over here so it, it will take a um, few minutes to get propagated so when you are having 1000 error um, there are only two factors one is you put the wrong name server into your domain or you put the wrong Cloudflare name server into your domain. I also have issue before where initially I changed my domain name server. It was originally from a Cloudflare 
and then I change it to other Cloudflare account that is registered under my name. So I ended up having a error 1000 and I have a tutorial on that. If you want to check that out, um, I'm going to put the link description below for you to see it. And also just feel free to check my link below to get a free access of the Groove funnel. So currently, so here I just refresh the website. It has a error 524 right now. So this means that the Cloudflare is working, but it has some issue with the host. And the host was for the Groove thing. Our host is the Groove funnel. So I'm gonna click the publish here. So just wait for a couple of minutes to get published. So right now, it, I mean, the hosting is not working because the um, propagation is still not finished. So I just refresh it. Currently, it's still error. So it's still error 1000 over here. So let's go back to our Cloudflare. And then, so why don't I just delete this one? And, and I will try to add another domain in here. So I will put in this one, university over here. I'm going to re-add the domain URL. So yes, please. And then I'll put it back to so Dora. I think it's still the same, dora.nscloudflare.com. This one is dora.nscloudflare.com. Okay, it, it can take a couple of minutes, so let's go back to the Cloudflare, open the Cloudflare account, and then um, let's log in his Cloudflare account again. So I think I still have the login details. Uh, let me get back to you. And then like we go into this one, DNS name server. And currently we have this set up. Now I want to add a C name. So it has this Cloudflare account, um, so for Clint. Now I'm gonna add a C name, add record, and then make it. Um, I'm gonna add a C name of. And then let's just use that one, which means. Um, targeting the root of the um, domain and then we will copy this one and put it over here and then for the Cloudflare I'm going to put it back let's put that back again to the um, let me just put it back to the AAA is pointed so here. Now the propagation is already finished and let's see what are the other details that was added on our Groove Funnel settings. So if you click the edit sections over here, you can see that the hosted was, I mean the status was changed from pending to active. And if you go into the edit options in here, you can see all the list of the ad records. So right now, our C name is hosted on Groove Pages. Let's say you want to use Groove Pages, and also if you want to play around with your Cloudflare, if you want to have access with the Cloudflare, what you can do instead as well is you have this Groove Funnel over here. Okay, because what he did, as I noticed, is he has this, he pointed the name server and also second way around to do it. If you want to have full access of the Cloudflare, you can sign up for free Cloudflare account. Okay, you can sign up for the free Cloudflare account over here and then um, use this as a name server. Okay, use this as a name server. Actually, we can... We can do that later. So what I can do instead is I'm going to copy all of this stuff here. So C name. So let me just copy that. That was the second option. 
And then the, the first option. Now the second option is we will get this C name and this A records, okay? So A records and then like that, okay? And then, um, okay, the second option again, if you want to have full access of your Cloudflare, you can sign up for a Cloudflare account over here and then add your site. So um, at the moment, I move the name server to the um, default Cloudflare options in here. So if you want, again, if you want to have full access, what we can do is we add, you, you just need to click the add site and then you fill in your information, your domain provider, let's say um, um, pasture. So let's say that one, you click that and then you will be, okay, how about my just, my domain, I'll just remove it later. So if you click that add site, you will choose like, just choose the free options and click continue. And then you will need to do some of these options, okay? If you click the continue over here, you need to point this name server to your domain provider, okay? So I'm going to remove this Angie stuff over here. Cloudflare, confirm, okay? Now what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to connect back this port or this name server rather to the Cloudflare, okay? So click this, and then I'm gonna change this one. Put that there, then I'll put it over here again. And then click the save, and then, okay, you click the continue, continue, then you go into the Cloudflare, and then you go into the DNS, and then we will set the C name. So I'm going to remove all of this stuff over here. So replace that. So I'm going to remove them. Remove. And this one as well. Remove. And this one as well. Remove. Like all of the A names over, like all of the stuff over here, I'm going to remove them. So make sure you, re you remove all the A name and the C name. Now I will add the A record. I'll add the A record. And this is pointed to this IP address and click the save. Next is we will add the C name. C name. Point that there. And then you point that to the Oh, sorry, my bad. It should be like that. So point it to the root domain and then you point it to the root. And then auto. So this is how it works, okay? Now it will take a couple of minutes to propagate this one, but what the, the difference really on this option B is you have full access of the Cloudflare. You can work on the caching, you can also work on the rules, traffic, and add some settings or can, you can set up the configuration of your CDN or Cloudflare because you have access to the Cloudflare account over on this one where you can only play around with the records. So that's the difference of that. So that's how it works, guys. And I hope you find this um, helpful. So again, as I said with you, it will take a couple of minutes depending on how big your website is. But normally, it will take 24 hours to fully migrate the name server to a different one. But that's really how it works. <laughs> Thank you.